guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 8.15pm. Right, I'm not angry, I'm not upset. It's just been a bog-standard Sunday for me. I live by myself, I'm a single woman. So it's just a bog standard Sunday and I've spent most of the day watching films, free films on YouTube. I'll be quite honest with you, it's been relaxing, it's been quiet and I've had my lunch and I'm, I'm absolutely fine. I've, I've not been upset at all, I've quite enjoyed it. I've been left alone to my own devices, I haven't been bothered by my mother or anybody else. No one's rung the phone until I was on the field just now and no one has uh, buzzed my buzzer. It's been brilliant. I've had so much peace and quiet. I've relaxed. I've, I've done a lot today uh, by myself and I feel good. I'm not in the slightest depressed at this moment in time and I'm not angry. So... Um, from the last video, I don't know when that actually was, because I'm not, cons I, you know, YouTube isn't my life. YouTube isn't my partner. I like to air my views and let people know what's going on, but it's not my life. I'm not tied to it. Um, because someone said that to me. Um, they said, I thought you wanted to be on your own, and you've always got YouTube. Well, no, YouTube is an application, it's not a human being, it's not actual real company, people watch the videos, but it's not real company. So, this afternoon I took Max out for a walk, around 2pm-ish, and we just walked around the field and it was pretty, pretty quiet, no trouble at all nothing to report back there and I came back home Sunday there's no post um, so I, I made myself some lunch mashed potato and corned beef like corned beef hash very nice it was too I've still got obviously food from Tesco's home delivery shopping that I got on Thursday so there's still food in the fridge I've got some lovely sausage rolls I've got more mashed potato, I've got tuna, I've got pasta, so I'm not hungry. I appreciate that some people need to eat in front of me, and probably they are hungry, that's why they're eating right in front of my face, so they're probably hungry, so I don't take any offence to people that want to eat in front of me. Go ahead. I'm not thin, am I? In fact, I'm the complete opposite. So, I sat and watched a film called Swipe. Free uh, video on YouTube and it was brilliant. I was just sat, an hour and a half, and I was just sat there watching that before it was time to, make, to take Max out for his evening walk. And my chihuahua is called Max. He's not called Lexi, he's Max. It's a male dog, it's not female, and he's called Max. It's a male chihuahua. Lexi is a female name for a dog. So my dog is a male and his name is Max. Okay? And I'm a woman. And I am not hugely overweight. But I could do with losing a few pounds, I admit that. So I watched the film Swipe till the end and that took me to ten past seven. Normally I go out about ten to seven, but it was ten past seven. So I walked down the road behind the flats and I could smell a strong smell of steak and kidney pudding. Now anybody, you know, remembers school dinners, when you were waiting for your school dinners and queuing up, you could smell the smell of the food. Now I could smell a strong smell of steak and kidney pudding. 
It nearly knocked me out. It was wafting all up behind the flats. I could smell it. Then I walked past a couple with a small, thin dog. I don't know what they are called. Are they lurchers? These really thin dogs, they're really thin. Um, it wasn't a greyhound, it looked like a lurcher. So there was a couple sat down and there was a, a thin dog next to them. So I walked past them. Then there was this car with Lexi as the number plate. A big black car with Lexi as the number plate parked outside the Rochester Riverside office. And there was a big guy with curly hair and big jeans outside the co-op. I got myself onto the field. There was people sat on the bench. There was a, a male and female jogger jogging together. That was nice to see. Nice couple, male and female jogging. And then in the distance I could see a boat, a very nice, beautiful boat, which I took pictures of and put on my Facebook uh, social media site because I've got a Facebook uh, app so I, I took photographs of these people sat on this very very lovely like luxury yacht type boat and then a white boat passed them and they were waving they were all happy on the boat I've been indoors all day, um, apart from taking Max out for a walk three times today, I haven't gone anywhere and it's been a lovely day as well, it's been warm and the sun's been out but I haven't been anywhere. So um, as I was walking across the field I could see Charlie, you know that guy I bumped into a few, about a couple of months ago now, Charlie. Whenever the king's coronation was, I bumped into this guy called Charlie. He was walking his white dog, Samir. My dog is called Max. So he was walking Samir. And um, he was wearing a jacket like my dad, Derek, used to wear. Like a cord type jacket. Brown. And my dad used to wear clothes like Charlie wears. So he had a, like a cord, jack, cord jacket on, like a beigey colour, and he walked off. I didn't approach him. I'm not current encouraging behaviour. And I had trousers on and this jacket when I was on the field. Um, I walked Max. There was a Chinese man with two like chihuahuas or small brown dogs. And I just walked my dog in peace and quiet and I came off the field and I could still smell that steak and kidney pudding when I was coming back I'm not hungry I'm not stupid I don't part with money that I haven't got I'm not going to starve myself am I and I certainly didn't part with any money yesterday so anybody think it, thinking that, oh, she hasn't got anything, she's got nothing to eat, well, they're wrong, aren't they? And it's lovely to watch people eat. It's a nice view, actually. It's better than staring at a brick wall. I had a brick wall view out of my kitchen window at Alexandra Road, Gloucestershire. I had, I had a view out of my kitchen of a brick wall. So seeing people eating... It's better than a brick wall. See, you have to look at the positive things in life. At least I can see people, not a brick wall. Now we're going to listen to my mum's answer phone message, which she rang while Charlie was on the field. Received today at 9.44 a.m. Good morning, Janessa, this good Sunday morning. I hope you're having a good spring, whatever. Your message will be saved for seven days. Next new message. Received today at 7.41 p.m. 
Uh, good evening, Janessa. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking to you from my landline phone to you, Janessa. The usual evening call, wishing you a good night, God bless, and I'll phone you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hope you like a very, very good day. Thinking of you, Janessa. Bye for now. Yes, well, me, Janestra, who is Crystal, a 54-year-old woman from Rochester in Kent, has had a very good day. I haven't done anything mad, bad, mad or dangerous. I haven't. Because I'm an adult. This isn't a children's playground. This is my life that I'm living in. And if I've got to live like this, I'll live like this. But at least I'm safe and not being put in danger. We had a WhatsApp message around four o'clock this afternoon. And I'm not messing about with you, whoever you are. I'm not messing about. I'm not answering you. I don't know who you are. You're a complete stranger. And I'm not answering any messages. And we've had another horrible looking bloke text me on Facebook dating and I haven't answered that if you can't let me meet someone then don't bother sending fake profiles trying to frighten me whoever you are because I'm not answering them I don't need you I don't need to speak to you I'm an adult do you understand good I'm not having it anymore. Someone said to me years ago when I got hooked in chat rooms that I couldn't stop speaking to them. I had to go into chat rooms. I was addicted to them. Well, we broke that habit and we'll break contact with you. Won't we? I don't need you, whoever you are. You're just, you're just hell-bent on upsetting every day of my life, making it a misery. And if you don't know what I'm doing and getting up to, it's none of your business anyway. And to everybody that follows my videos, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support. Um, I'm not lonely. I've got Max. And you don't need bad people in your life, believe you me. You just don't. And I'm grateful for what I've got, and that's a roof over my head. See you later.